Revenge Films. As the cherry blossoms bloom to celebrate the coming of spring, I was going to join my boyfriend of three years hand in marriage. Originally, we planned to get married and have the wedding next fall, but my fiance's grandparents were getting weak, so we decided to do it early while they were still healthy. I had four months left until the wedding, and I was out for some coffee with three of my friends. Good thing you've been growing your hair out. What does that mean? Oh, you know, you look so much better in a wedding dress with longer hair. That's why a lot of brides grow out their hair before their wedding. My hair has always been long. I wasn't specifically growing it out for the wedding. I had naturally curly hair, and it was just easier to control for me when my hair is longer. And I could just tie it in a ponytail if I'm feeling lazy. And a little bit of drying time kept my hair under control this way. I had to cut it shorter when I was job hunting back in college, but I've been growing it out ever since. It took me four years to grow it this long. I was planning on cutting it a little shorter before the wedding, though. I didn't want to worry about my crazy hair that day, so I was just planning on using a wig. When I told my friends that, they tried to stop me. No, your hair is so pretty. You should try setting your own hair instead of using a wig. Yeah, plus with that length, you can try all kinds of hairstyles. By all means, get a trim, but it took you so long to grow it out. Don't make it short again. They all gave me advice. I appreciated the input, and I was rethinking how I should proceed. When my friends suddenly looked in my direction like they saw a ghost or something, <coughs> they all started screaming at the same time. Huh? What? That moment, I felt something cold brush the back of my neck and heard a snip right next to my ear. One friend had her hand over her mouth. Another friend was frozen in place with a glass of water in her hand. And my other friend had a freaked out look on her face. Chill, run. <laughs> My friend managed to stutter those words as she reached out her shaking arm towards me. What's going on? It seemed like I was the only one that was confused, but I could tell by my friend's reaction that something terrifying was happening right behind my back. I slowly turned around in fear, and I saw a girl that I'd never seen before standing there with a pair of scissors in her hand. We met eyes, but her eyes looked like someone had drained her soul. She just stood there, staring at me. Without even blinking, I got the chills. I looked down and saw a pile of hair on the ground. What is this? I brushed my hand against the back of my head and felt an unfamiliar rough prickly sensation on my hand. It seems that this girl had cut off a big chunk of hair off the back of my head. I sat there in shock for a moment as the girl's expression crumbled and she broke down in tears. I couldn't keep up with everything. I just stared at the pile of hair on the ground and thought, Oh no, my hair is all over the ground of this coffee shop. I gotta clean it up. Wait, do I need to go get this fixed up like right now? I bet my hair looks crazy right now. All kinds of thoughts were racing through my mind. But at the same time, it felt like a heavy boulder was sitting on top of me. I wanted to, but I couldn't move. I was completely useless. So my friends got the girl for me. As she bawled, she took her beanie off and apologized. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She kept apologizing sincerely, and no one could say anything. I wasn't sure if it was some sort of illness she had, but, but she had multiple bald spots on her head. The owner of the coffee shop called the police for us, and they arrested the girl. As the victims, we also accompanied the police to the police station to file a report and leave our statements. Turns out, the girl was a student at a beauty college, and she had her tools in her bag that day. She was already an adult, but her parents were also called in because she was still a student. Her brother came instead of her parents, though. Upon observation, I had already figured that she was probably having problems at home. I was right. When she was still young, her parents had broken up. Her father went with her father as an heir to his company, but her mother begged to keep her. So she ended up staying with her mother. After that, her mother got remarried and divorced multiple times. She had experienced domestic violence from many of those men. So, from a young age, she had alopecia due to all the stress that she experienced. Her mother wasn't the type of lady to treat her daughter's condition, which made it get even worse. On top of everything else, she was bullied in elementary school for her condition, and she was mentally a wreck. After graduating high school, she left her mother and was able to get into beauty school with her father's help. But one day, she lost all her confidence when she thought to herself that there was no way that someone with a patchy head like hers could become a successful beautician. 
Just when she was depressed about her situation, she ran into us at the coffee shop and overheard our conversation. It depressed her even more to think that she would never be able to get married. And she pulled her scissors out of her bag and was cutting my hair before she even realized it herself. Moments later, when she got a hold of herself, she realized the severity of what she had just done. So that's the gist of what happened. And after realizing that the girl who was crying in front of me with the patchy head was also a victim in life, I couldn't get myself to press charges. So I decided not to press charges. Her brother promised to find her an institution immediately. So I just had them cover the cost for the hair salon that I now had to visit. Ugh, that's all? How are we gonna fix you up in time for the wedding? While well, my friends seemed more angry and concerned than I was, I went straight to a hair salon and cut my hair really short for the first time in my life. I now had matching hairstyles with my fiancé. I liked my new look, but my fiancé seemed shocked. How long will it take to grow back? He would always stroke my hair and ask me that. Who knows? It's been growing slower as I get older. And while it's short, I'll have to fix it up often to keep it under control. So I'm thinking like 10 years, give or take. Seeing how shocked my fiancé looked after telling me that made me realize how much damage was actually done. A few days later, that girl's brother stopped by with a sorry gift and $10,000 in cash. It was respectable how he came to apologize to my fiancé as well, and I could tell that he was sorry. So contrary to what everyone wanted me to do, I simply gave the cash back. You should use this for your sister. The brother looked shocked. Don't worry, my hair will grow back sooner or later. He cried as he deeply apologized many more times before leaving. About one year after the incident, the girl came by to pay me a visit. She had recovered after spending some time in a clinic and asked me to accept her compensation once she was graduated and got a job. I reminded her that it was unnecessary, but she insisted, so I made a proposal. All right, well, what about this then? You owe me a free haircut. My hair is pretty crazy, so you better be prepared. <laughs> of course, she accepted happily. And after that, she graduated, and after three years of training, opened up her own beauty salon. And as promised, I got my free haircut. I've been keeping my hair short ever since that incident, by the way. I'm sorry for ruining your long hair. She apologized as she cut my hair. But frankly, I would have never been able to experience short hair if it wasn't for that incident. So I just looked back on it as a good opportunity to experience something new. She looked relieved when I told her that. I love the way she fixed my hair. So ever since, I'm a regular at her hair salon. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.